You're kind of on edge, aren't you? You have exactly two minutes to tell me what the hell you're doing here, mister. But that's good. That's what we like. Someone on the balls of their feet. Just because you're with the State Department doesn't mean you can walk into people's houses whenever you want to. I suggest you walk back out. Nice guitar. You know, I had a Martin when I was in college. I had hair down to here. I was going to change the world. Well, that's uh, very interesting. Uh, you have one minute left. Look, I didn't want to do this. I heard about your wife. I'm really sorry. 45 seconds. I was at Woodstock. Now I have a monogram briefcase. <laughs> your father-in-law owns a hotel, the Oasis. Now, in the next few days, prominent German industrialist, isn't it nice we don't have to say East or West? Wait, 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 wait a second. What, what about this German industrialist? Oh, well, ostensibly, he's coming to talk about buying out your father-in-law. Now, that might be part of the reason for the trip, but we think he's here for something else. Something that affects national security. What? Does that mean I have more than 15 seconds left? I forgot I was expecting you. Then can I introduce myself? My name's John Holloran. Chris Castillo. I need you to sign this security form. It's your sworn statement that you won't reveal what I'm about to tell you to anyone. Can I uh, sit down? Sit yourself. Well, as I said, we at State don't think that our dealer is making the trip solely to fatten his portfolio. We think that, uh, though it's a nice cover, now the joking stops. We think he's involved in warfare armory, specifically Stinger missiles. And this guy would pimp his grand if he got five bucks for it. You got proof? If we had proof, we'd pick him up at the airport, read him his rights, and throw him in the who's gal. Now, we gotta get proof. Here. Glance through this. I think you'll be convinced. What is this, uh, what is this thing here? He, won't, he wants to talk to C.C. Capwell? That's his cover. Actually, he wants to talk to representatives of certain South American countries. Now, I don't think I need to tell you that agents interested in this kind of weaponry aren't out to make the world safe for democracy. No, you don't. More files. Now, these are profiles of two people that Air Dieter will be meeting with. We need someone to check them out. You do, huh? Well, you know... I gotta tell you, it makes me wonder why you would give this to a, a police officer in Santa Barbara. Well, you were with the UNID. So were a lot of other guys. Oh, you have a first-rate record. So do a lot of other guys. You're honest. And we're not so sure about a lot of other guys. What does that mean? This is painful. We, uh, have a bit of a problem with internal security. Am I supposed to be surprised there's a leak at State Department? This is essentially <laughs> sensitive. Frankly, there is an enormous amount of money to be made by a transaction like this. Now, Air Dieter does not think twice about a $100,000 uh, gratuity. The State Department is not renowned for its extravagant salaries. <laughs> Neither is the Santa Barbara Police Department. <laughs> it's uh, my duty to tell you that this job is classified in X7, which is our bureaucratic way of saying you could end up kissing your fanny goodbye. We need your help. The situation's critical. You know, it seems to me you're beyond my help. This seemed like a good idea a couple of days ago. Right now, I'm starting to feel, uh, kind of busy. Huh. Our files are usually so, uh, thoroughly researched. Nowhere did it mention you were a world-class jerk. <laughs> 